friends, welcome back to my channel. We're going to do an, a very, very overdue flip through of this A5 planner that I've been using. This is honestly just a blank Stology book. It is an A5. It has the light grid paper, which, um, let me see if I can find an empty page for you to see. And I can't. Um, <laughs> but this is the A5. I have a Midori clear cover over it. I stuck in some cardstock that has cherry blossoms on it. I think that's what it is. I have no idea. I have it in this Moterm cover. As you can see, that's the color that it came. This is an apricot and it shined up so much that um, that's the patina on it. It's really pretty. I do have my stickers over here that I'm gonna use for my weeklies. This is the softest part of the book, which I don't know why that leather is super, super soft. <clears throat> but here it is. Let's go ahead and do a flip through. I know you guys are excited to, do, to see flip throughs and to see how I utilize this book. This is kind of where I laid good intentions for my index and they went to die. They died somewhere long ago and they never came to fruition. This is my year at a glance. This was supposed to be the 2024 year at a glance. That died too. So I did fill out the important dates um, and I did, I was starting to print out the Sterling Ink Freebie in the volume sheet. But as you can see, as I go through that, it kind of fizzles away. So this is how my monthly looked. What I did was I went ahead and drew up. I did the month on two pages. That way I could pre-plan my weeks. Oh, so I've always kept this. I love monthlies. I have to always have a monthly. This right here is the combinations that I liked. These are the only tombos at the time that I really had. And since that time, I have bought some more tombos and now I can do more combinations. So let's go into, that's why I have this right here. Actually, I could add to it. Now we go into my week, my weekly spreads. And looking at these, this is how I was decorating when I first got this. Um, reading back through it, I was flying back home um my daughter and I had gone on a trip and we just had so much fun and I did kind of quotes down here I did um kind of like what I did I binge watched Outlander season three on that day and then I got all the way up to season six on this day so I was honestly watching watching it I was so tired that week and then I just kind of carried on with the same layout on this week and I wrote some stuff down that I thought were important to write down. I drew as much as I could. I got a new vacuum this day and so of course I vacuumed everything. Um, so that's what I was doing and we then I started watching Call the Midwife so that became something that I quickly binged and then we saw this cool show called The Crowded Room. I think it's on Apple, but I was keeping the weather and drawing my own um, sun and clouds and then I was actually keeping track of what what we did. I all. And I also got something in the mail that I swatched, just like a distress oxide. So I was just using, these are weekly layouts. So this is kind of how the week went. I'm going to try to be quiet and just flip through. Then I started getting sick. <laughs> and then I started, um, really started to write down my symptoms. And this is when I suddenly started getting creative and I drew. 
some things out and I was writing and doing different kinds of headers, header styles in my writing. So none of these are stickers. These are actually all the writing. All of these, all this stuff is writing. So still more writing and then what I was doing and what I was learning. So I, there was some YouTube um, things that I want. Oh my goodness. I really want the Hubman and Chub Girl Bulbud Box Tea. It is so very cute. I never got that. I wrote it down though. I did my iPhone. Um, man. So I was crafting and things that I got in the mail. Got sick in the night. Oh man, I remember that night. It was so painful. Okay. So, hmm. So I was sick earlier that week anyway. And I got my first infusion medicine. And then this is, goes into October. And then of course for this week, I wanted to do a witchy theme. And I kind of abandoned this one. I was reading a good book. That's what I was doing. I was so into reading that week. So this is how it's looking and we thought I was in remission, but labs don't, labs do not support remission. So, but it's looking good. So I'm, we're on the right infusion. So, um, I was reading a book. I had to, some orders I made, chicken dinner. Um, then I did some of this kind of scripting style it says study so I did this and this is when I got in my Tombow pastels and so everything had to be pastel so I got these stickers that were cookie stickers and then I ex actually highlighted over a pen that wasn't completely waterproof and it kind of made a muddy effect so this is what I wrote out and I tried to decorate as much as I could. TCMC had a sale for Black Friday. I was one of the first 850 customers, but I forgot to look at my total. And I spent $19.14 in the first 850 customers with a $20 or over got a special prize. And I missed out because I was like 70 cents short or 80 cents short. And I wasn't paying attention, but I was also at families, so it is okay. <laughs> That's completely okay. It doesn't bother me. Like, some people were really panicking about not getting the top 850. I don't know. I don't know if it, I don't, I don't know what the special sticker was or what the special gift was because clearly it didn't come to me. So this is last week, so this is weekly, and then this is what I did today earlier and that video will be up tomorrow so then we some of the stuff I did have to like paper clip together because I can't go through it and then I have my daily section and so I started keeping dailies in July and some of it was um like a to-do list what I wanted to focus on some of it was uh journaling some of it was just things that I saw online that spoke to me. And I did the August birthday sale for TCMC. And that's when I really bought a lot of stickers. But I saved money. And no, I didn't get all these. Um, I was binge watching Young, Young Sheldon. So me and my husband were watching Young Sheldon. And I was still... Um, I guess we watched The Flash and journaling and positive things to say to your child and more journaling. So let me just go through these series a little bit faster. People you cannot trust. Believe it or not, if you are a victim of a certain type of abuse, you don't recognize it. And so my therapist was helping me navigate um, some people in my life that 
Um, I did, long story, you just have to kind of cut them out. You cut them out of your life and you write down things <laughs> to try to remember. Why shouldn't you trust a person? So I actually found that online and I wrote it down. So um, that's kind of how my dailies looked. I printed out these. I bought this from a lady on Etsy. They're cute little dolls. And Fussy cut them out. And this is just more daily. So this is back in August. And then my Hobonichi wish list because September the 1st was the Hobonichi set. And how I was feeling, I have to be mindful of these paper clips. I can't share the rest. So um, things that I wanted to do, freebies, my Hobonichi stuff that I was wanting to order that I did get, um, some stuff for my channel and my dailies. And so journaling, I wrote the word journal wrong, but who cares? <laughs> So this is when I started my Christmas wish list. I did not get any of these things yet, yet, but I still have a lot of them in my wish list still. And journaling, I did do a craft that I got with some Coffee Monsters Co. Packaging, and then this is what my desk looks like. And I think it, I did a really good job cleaning it that day. I was so pleased with myself, so I took a photo. And then... I have like all my little A6 stuff in this. If you can see that, I did take a photo of that as well. My printer, the printer I had back then was not very good, but the printer I have now is amazing. So this is my journaling ideas that I got for my subscribers. I did a video on that and um, this is like stuff that I was like old song that I was listening to and Things that I did, I crafted, what I practiced, what I did today. Hope arrived. Yay. Um, it never updated to out for delivery. So actually, that's pretty cool to know because I am waiting for something to be delivered. And oh yeah, this is something cool. I got some Hello Kitty stuff. I have to be mindful of these paper clips. I can't show that. So, um... This is more dailies. I've made all these stickers, my social media icon script stickers. So I had fun making those and kind of what the blade pressure was, how I had to do it. I was testing things and writing stuff down for kiss cut, die cut, for different stickers. Okay, so I met with a friend, had so much fun. I have to, I've got to put these on and I journaled about it and then um I was doing some journaling prompts with a friend and I filled some of those pages up with those journaling prompts and they are very private so I didn't want to share those on social media but we were watching Slasher in October the 9th we started watching Slasher this series um, we watched them all. It was kind of cheesy. It wasn't very scary, so that was cool. TCMC subscription came in on that day, and I opened it, and I made a list of things I wanted to do. Um, I was trying to, oh yeah, I was trying to journal, and I couldn't because I was having tremors that day, thanks to my lovely autoimmune disease. Oh yeah. And the tremors were gone, so I was excited about that. So I was, like, writing again normally. And so I swatched some washi that came in the mail. And I swatched some more washi. And I made this coffee guy die cut. It's rough because I had to cut it several times because I was learning my pressure. And now that I know it's going to do one swoop, one glide, and it will cut and it won't be so jagged. But... This is the dailies and oh yeah, I have to keep, sorry, I have to keep mindful of these. And so I was reading about how to annotate for books and reading. I was really into reading. Um, I was getting lost in a book and it really was because I was like 
reading for five days in a row. Um, I was having a hard time too with my vision. So I do remember that. I remember this one day. Okay, so <laughs> this day, um, this day was actually really weird for me because I I was like, what a mind blustering day. I had no focus. I made food that we had no ingredients to eat. And I and then I, and then I walked away. Okay, so what I did was I I went into the kitchen and I started making food. But we didn't even have okay, what it was was it was tacos. We didn't even have the ingredients for tacos. We didn't even have tortillas. Like I didn't make any of them. We didn't even have cheese. We didn't have lettuce like we did <laughs> I was making tacos and I didn't know what I was doing so we ended up and then I walked away from it and went upstairs and went to bed for the night and I never even ate so that whole day it was weird and my husband was like what was dinner like what was it because he couldn't figure it out because, <laughs> because I didn't lay out anything on the counter and so he ended up saving the food and we ended up using them. And then this is, I wrote a letter to my mom. And um, this is a letter to her in heaven. So she's been gone for 14 years. And I don't really care. I mean, it's not really that personal. But And then I had this complete fiasco with T-Mobile, like I've been calling them every month. And so I wrote down my phone log on here and stickers that I was making. Potato pack. That's a coupon that I couldn't forget to use on this pre-order sale um, because I, I made a lot of purchases and forgot coupon codes. So then like Thanksgiving and what, how I was feeling, my A6 hobo, what I want to keep in it, my A6 note, notebooks, what I want to keep in them. Like, that's what, if you are Brittany, like, push pause. So, I wrote down some stuff there that I was gifting her. She's, she, she hasn't gotten it yet. I haven't sent it yet, so she obviously hasn't gotten it yet. Photography tips by my friend Beth. She's going to teach me some photography tips, and I'm going to teach her how to sew. So, I was planning on doing this huge layout for November 26th and I never even got to it. So this is going to be redated and I'm going to journal and then kind of like what I've gotten for my Sterling Ink Planner, what I wanted to do for Plan Mist. And then this is my daily for this week. And then, so, oh yeah, so if you have the Stology 365, if you can see... There is a very light, faint grid. The grid is four millimeters. I love this grid size. And then at the very top is some letters that you cannot see without a magnifying glass. And so nobody uses it. And it's just wasted space. So what you're supposed to do is let me actually use my needle nose pliers so you can see. So this date right here right here right here says january and then these dates say the day of the week monday through sunday and then these little numbers are the days all the way through 31 and nobody can see this <laughs> what you're supposed to do is circle or highlight what day it is and then you're supposed to somehow know what day you're on just by highlighting it and I'm gonna show you how ridiculous that is because no let me use this marker because in all honesty you cannot see let's say it's Sunday December 31st I'm just using the last of everything look at how ridiculous that is you cannot see it I can't read it um, it's like, why? So they should just do away with this whole thing and move the grid up. That's my, 
that's just all I have to say about that. And then um, I do have like my tracking that I did. I do have to print out Decembers, but this is my autoimmune tracking stuff. I still have the information in my weeklies. I just have to do it for the whole month. And then let's see, I can't, I can't just, here's some recipes that I kept, um, that I started and I never finished the rest of it. And yeah, I can't really show the rest of this book. So, oh yeah, I can show, wait, hold on. I can show some of it. Okay. So this is like my Cricut favorites. This is my silhouette stuff that I was learning. So this is my education, my education for learning how to do things on my machines. So I have a Cricut and I have a silhouette. So when I learn things, I write it down so I can refer back to it. And then my Cricut favorites and like test it on for the best cuts, what I got. And then this holiday thing that I roll out and never used. And then this herb butter that I always make every year and stuff it under the skin of the turkey and then my sides that I was going to make but never even did half of that stuff and so these are the tv shows that we were watching and do I have young Sheldon yeah I have young Sheldon down so I wanted to make sure that I get I need to just get a list that's going of different things so that I don't have them mixed up with dailies and journaling and weeklies and I just want to see all of these together. So this is kind of like my pen test, my ink swatches and things like that. So that's it. Thank you guys for joining me and have a good day.